Good morning, Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for the 22nd of August, 2017. We have to talk about Harvey here in the tropics, the National Hurricane Center, indicating a 70% chance of it redeveloping over the next day or so, and a 90% chance of this becoming a tropical cyclone again over the next five days. What does that mean? Well, in just the looking at the you know the words on the page it means this could redevelop but in the model world it means that there is the potential for a hurricane along the texas or northeast mexico coastline and we need to talk about that so if we look at the satellite imagery of this morning it's not much right here sitting over the yucatan but once it gets out over the warm waters of the gulf the potential for this to develop is definitely there and uh, we need to take this seriously not going to have a lot of time to prepare if you're in this area. Uh, we do have 92L somewhere over here, a rainmaker perhaps for parts of Florida, but I'm not too worried about this developing into anything very well organized at least. Looking at the upper level winds right now, not very favorable where Harvey, and this is the remnants of Harvey, the leftover vorticity center. It's, you know, it's got its heart left, so to speak, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, and it's going to move into an area where these upper level winds should reverse and become a lot more favorable for development. And if we look at the structure of the system right here, definitely still has a well-defined low level vorticity center. And that's going to be moving uh, across the Yucatan today and then up somewhere towards this area uh, over the next three, four, five days. And the potential is there for this to strengthen and do so significantly. Part of the reason we have very warm upper, uh, not only upper ocean heat content, I'll show you that in a moment, but the surface water here, the skin of the Gulf of Mexico, the actual sea surface temperatures, if you went and stuck a thermometer out there, uh, generally speaking, and this is you know not the finest of detail, you have buoys that are going to show higher temperatures or lower temperatures, but on the whole, uh, most of the area that this is going to be traveling through well, we're looking at 29, 30 degrees Celsius temperatures, basically uh, mid to upper 80s Fahrenheit across the Gulf of Mexico. And the upper ocean heat content, and this is a measure of how much energy resides in the upper part of the ocean, not just at the surface. And there are some moderate levels here, as you can see on the scale, uh, as this traverses these very warm waters. Plenty of energy for it to tap into, and therefore the models are responding. This is the track forecast model suite from 6 UTC this morning, meaning that it was initialized around 2 a.m. Eastern Time. And you can see most of the modeling bringing it, in, uh, bringing it into Texas. And that's worrisome here. This is, you know, people in Texas need to start paying attention to this. And this is the other reason why. The intensity guidance all calls for this to be a hurricane at some point before landfall. And... We have not had a hurricane in Texas since Ike back in 2008. And so, you know, this, I don't know what else to say, it's time to wake up. Short fuse system from the Yucatan to the Texas coast, you don't have a lot of time to prepare. And uh, that could be a real problem. So this is the GFS from the 6Z run this morning. And I want to point out what to look for. This is the energy at the 5,000 foot level associated with Harvey's remnants and then that comes off the Yucatan, starts to develop a little bit after hour 48. And that's even more worrisome because from here until landfall up here is not that much time nor distance. And it really tightens up there, as you can see, lots of these concentric circles telling me that the vorticity is stronger, the spin is more organized, the energy is there, it strengthens, it shows a strong system in the modeling and that's what I look for when I try to figure out what's going to happen with these systems and so it approaches the Texas coast here uh, right around day four or so and if we stop the animation right there about 89 hours out or late Friday afternoon is what this shows now that's you know we can worry about those details later this just gives us a ballpark time frame and uh, it's the central Texas coast there uh, between Houston and Galveston area and uh, Corpus Christi, perhaps, uh, and well north of Brownsville down here. Now, this can change. We know how that works. But the thing is, all of the modeling is showing this in one form or another. 
And this is not something that's way out in the open Atlantic over here where we have had all kinds of false alarms this year. The intensity guidance is there. The track guidance shows this approaching the Texas coast. Uh, it still has a chance, certainly, to come in and, and go into Mexico along the Rio Grande Valley. But more and more, this looks like it's trying to head for the Texas coast north of Brownsville. So we're going to have to watch this very closely. Uh, pretty good chance that I'm going to be hitting the road later today uh, to head to Texas. My team and I, uh, we set up equipment to monitor the effects of either, either via unmanned camera systems or to measure the wind speed with our anemometers and pressure sensors for air pressure. And uh, Texas is a long way from North Carolina. From That's where I'm based. So I very well may have to leave later today. If so, I'll do these updates while on the road and I'll try to keep you posted as much as I can. Remember, you do have some great tools within Hurricane Pro and HD to track, to look at different social media items and news tidbits. So be sure to follow that even between these video updates. All right? That is it from me for now. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. As always, we appreciate you tuning in. I am Mark Suttoth for HurricaneTrack.com. That's my site. And for Hurricane Pro and HD, I'll have more for you as the week progresses.